New tonight, a Paralympic gold medalist in the Valley has died. His name was Nick Springer. He was a quadruple amputee and played on the U.S. wheelchair rugby team. Fox 10's Jennifer Martinez spoke with his family and shares his story. Jenny. Well, right now there is no cause of death for Nick, but his father tells us that the death was sudden and he tells us that Nick spent his life helping others. I really do um, believe that his legacy will, will, will live on. A remarkable young man, says the father of 35-year-old Nicholas Springer, Paralympic medalist for Team USA who died on April 14th for unknown causes. His father, Gary Springer, tells us he believes it had something to do with his disease meningitis. We haven't heard yet a, a, a full cause of death, but you know his insides were pretty messed up from that disease because what the disease does, it, 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 it attacks the blood and it attacks the organs and it co helps coagulate and inside out. And that's why they need the amputations like you've been burned. And it, it really did affect his organs, his, including his heart. And, what it sounds like is that he might have had a heart attack, but we're not sure. In 1999, Nick's hands and feet were amputated, but that didn't stop him from becoming great. Getting into wheelchair rugby and going on to win multiple gold medals, including at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. And he never wore prosthetics. He just didn't like them. They, 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 they were uncomfortable. Um, they made him bleed. And, and so he was, you know, he was fine. And it was quite amazing that nobody, you know, one wouldn't think that a guy, you know, with no hands and no feet and can do anything. He can drive a car. He can, he can use the little cell phone. We puts it in his hands, and he had the nubs of this stump, and he would, you know, be able to dial and, and um, uh, he was rather remarkable. His father says Nick was generous, and what he wanted to do was help other disabled people. Uh, young people who just got you know, found out they were disabled, young young people in wheelchairs. And Nick really thrived on that because he was so positive about it. And he, you know, it was like, this is life. It's like, you know, you know, I'm still here. I'm still doing it and I'm doing it fine. And his father did tell us that he had a positive attitude and he is adding that if anyone would like to donate, we have that link on our website and you can donate to the Wheelchair Sports Federation. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.